Hey Alex, what happens when thousands of anime fans get together for a weekend? Well Aaron, you're about to find out on this week's edition of the Goofing Off Power Juicer. Hey, I'm Alex Nassos. And I'm Aaron Wrinkle. And welcome to the very first edition of Goofing Off's Power Juicer. Where we take pop culture and present it to you in small digestible morsels. Hey Aaron, did you know that the season 6 of StarCraft 2 started this past Tuesday? Alex, I swear, if I have to hear about one more bunker rush... Well, but with the new maps... Alex, this isn't Korea. And there's plenty more going on in the video game world right now. What could be more important than StarCraft? The new Twisted Metal game came out. And? And we've got a full review available soon. Maybe that'll change your mind. It's good to be back. Well, I guess that does look pretty good. And not only that, but rumor has it that Sony netted Brian Taylor to start production on a movie based on the series. Wait, wait, the Ghost Rider guy? Yeah. Well, let's hope he can bring along the intense acting talent of Nicolas Cage. I think a psychopathic clown named Sweet Tooth might be the only role he hasn't played yet. You might be right. Hey, while we're on the topic of new movies, did you see Safe House? No, but my movie-watching partner in crime, Tyler, sure did, and he's got the final verdict. Safe House released last Friday. The story follows Matt Weston, a low-level CIA operative who is forced to protect rogue agent Tobin Frost from unknown assailants and keep him in custody. Denzel Washington does a fantastic job as Tobin Frost, and even Ryan Reynolds does well as Weston, mostly because of Washington's presence. The action is also very well done. Intense car chases and chilling hand-to-hand -hand combat sections will keep you on the edge of your seat, if only for a few seconds. Unfortunately, the bland, predictable story and forgettable secondary characters make this Bourne Trilogy clone not worth the $9 it costs for admission earning it two out of five stars. Wow, that was pretty harsh. Well, when it comes to movies, Tyler only has two modes, love and hate. And speaking of modes, I think it's about time we kick things into overdrive. Let's take it to the blender. The blender? Right. Now that we've juiced that delicious fruit that is pop culture news, we need to take it over to the blender and toss in some more stuff until we've got a delicious news smoothie. Are you ready? All right, but this is the last extended metaphor you get to take this far. No promises. The blender. Yeah, we didn't go anywhere. Whoa, last time I checked, even in the metaphorical pop culture smoothie making system, the blender's still in the kitchen. New details on gameplay in Resident Evil 6, Leon and Chris's extensive military training is now improved to include shooting whilst moving. Let's hope that doesn't mean connect controls. Notch announced via tweet last week that he is on board to help Tim Schafer create Psychonauts 2. After seven years, we might actually get the awesome sequel that the game deserves. Sony confirms The Last Guardian is still coming out. Eventually. And Rockstar announced the possibility of a L.A. Noir sequel. Hopefully this time, there's actually stuff to do after you watch the beautifully acted cutscenes. The 500th episode of The Simpsons is scheduled to air on Sunday. It is the capstone on 23 years of broadcasting. <sighs> Who knew making smoothies was that exhausting? And now, the moment I've been waiting for weeks for. Here's a look at what happened when Goofing Off went to OhioCon. Rumor has it you played dress up. Whoa, I cosplayed Cloud Strife. Hardly the same as playing dress up. Oh, I can't wait to see this. All right, so we're here at one of the biggest anime conventions in Ohio. Let's go grab some interviews with people, find out what's going on.
So, Kifka, is this your first OhioCon? Tell me. No, this is my second. Second OhioCon. And you already look like a pro, man. How long did your cosplay take to make? It took me two months to put this together. Two months? Wow. You seem to put a lot of time and detail into your outfit. How much time do you think you spent on making it? Probably 50 to 60 hours. The, everything on here was made except for the sheet for my sword. Like, I made it, this was like carved out of wood and painted. Wow, that's impressive. You must be good with the knife. <laughs> I tried it. I made everything of this, the hat. Wow, that's impressive. Very nice. How would you work on your lap once you kill him? <laughs> All right, how's this? <laughs> I was thinking more like. <laughs> I'll work on it. What is it about uh, Ohio Con that's uh, special? What makes it unique? I think it's just it's bigger than most of the other cons. And there's more dealers and artists and a lot more people. It's everything. It's the cosplays. It's the people. The people you meet. I mean, it's just the atmosphere. It's just so large. It's like, what, 7,000, 8,000 estimates? Right, what, what have you uh, seen and liked about it so far? I've seen a solid snake, a Thor, and, and I saw a Gur earlier. I love it all. I can't find Vegeta, though. I wish he was here. I love meeting new people and just meet, or meeting with friends. Ohio Cut's the best! Unfortunately, I think it's about time to hit the road, Casey. We came, we saw, we, we, well, uh, Casey, what else did we do? See a bunch of weird stuff this weekend? That counts as see, but I like it. Well, everybody, I'm Alex Nassos. And I'm Casey Church. Thank you for taking the time to goof off with us. Priceless. Well, that's all we've got for this week. But don't worry, we'll be back next Wednesday with more juicy goodness. Juicy goodness, too far. Anyway, be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash ZTV Goofing Off and follow us on Twitter at ZTV Goofing Off. And if you haven't already, subscribe to us on YouTube at youtube.com slash ZTV Goofing Off so you can stay up to date with everything we've got coming up. Speaking of which, Alex, what do we have coming up? I guess you'll have to subscribe to the YouTube channel to find out. That's all we've got for this week. Until next time, I'm Erin Wrinkle. And I'm Alex Nassos, and thank you for taking the time to goof off with us.